Good day, everyone. For this schedule of practical pharmacognosy 1, diagnostic characters of stem back samples will be discussed by Dr. Ibrahim. The objectives are to be able to identify powdered medicinal plant samples with the aid of a microscope to focus their microscopic features. Also, powdered plant samples from the same plant part can be differentiated based on their peculiar characters. The lectures. Students, it is expected of students to understand the use of characters that are peculiar to individual parts of a plant for proper identification and to distinguish among plant samples that are of the same morphology. The different medicinal plant parts, such as leaves, flower, roots, rhizomes, have certain structures that are peculiar to such part of the plant. These peculiar structures give characters or some form of diagnosis that can be used in the identification of the different parts of the plant. It is easier to recognize medicinal plant samples whose part is presented in a whole form compared to powdered form of a plant sample that poses some difficulties. For instance, it is difficult to identify or to ascertain from which part of the plant these powder samples are obtained. Is it the stem, the root, the leaf, or the rhizome. This is because of the destruction of the macromorphological identity of this plant sample in the process of getting it in the powdered form. Therefore, there is the need to recognize and apply microscopic features of characters that are peculiar to individual parts of the plant for proper identification. Diagnostic characters used in the identification of stem or root back samples include sclerites, calcium oxalate crystals, cock cells, lignified and non-lignified fibers, starch granules. These diagnostic features can only be viewed using a microscope by first preparing the specimen. This is followed by examining the various microscopic characters that are seen under the microscope. Then it is expected to make comments on what you have observed. When giving a dried whole form of specimen, this form of specimen is initially softened by soaking in water for a few minutes and thin section of the softened sample is cut off. Minute quantity of either powdered or thin section of softened whole sample is what is required for microscopy. To prepare light for microscopy, small quantity of powdered or thin section of the softened whole sample is placed on a clean glass slide. Few drops of mountain, such as glycerol, is dropped on the specimen and covered with a cover slip. Clean up mountains or sample smear around the glass slide with a piece of filter paper and view slide under the microscope. To examine the diagnostic characters present in a given powder sample, for example, to view calcium oxalate crystals under the microscope, to the small quantity of powdered sample that is placed on a glass slide, a few drops, few drops of chlorohydrate is added. The chlorohydrate serves as a clearing agent as it dissolves cell contents such as proteins, starch, chlorophyll, resins, and volatile hulls, but it does not dissolve calcium oxalate crystals. The slide with the sample is gently heated on blue flame from her Bunsen burner. While heating, care is taken not to crack the slide, so the slide is repeatedly removed from flame. After the process of heating, glycerol is added, the sample is covered with glass cover slip and viewed under the microscope. This is an image representative of calcium oxalate crystals that can be seen under the microscope. The chemical nature of the cell wall of stem back sample can also be used as a form of diagnostic characters. The fibers and sclerites type of sclerenchyma cells can be viewed under the microscope by the addition of solution of fluorocucinol in ethanol to the powder sample that is placed on a glass slide. Sample is allowed to stand for about two minutes. Excess alcohol is removed from the slide with the head of a piece of filter paper. Hydrochloric acid should be carefully added to the sample on the slide, and then slide is covered and viewed. 
Why viewing under the microscope, apart from scleric and fibrous, other microscopic features such as cortex, phlegm, xylem, to mention but a few, are also observed. The fibers differs from the scleric as the fiber appears as unbranched, elongated cells with sharp tampering hand walls, while scleric are seen as isodimetric or irregular broad cells that may be branched or unbranched. Powder plant samples from similar parts of a plant can be differentiated by examining the types of diagnostic characters that is viewed under the microscope. For instance, if given cascara and cinnamon powder samples. Both samples are obtained from the stem back of, from the, stem back of the plant, and as such, it is expected to see calcium oxalate crystals. This is the calcium oxalate crystal for cascara and calcium oxalate crystals for cinnamon. So it is expected to see calcium oxalate crystal under the, uh, under the microscope when, when you're viewing cascara and cinnamon powder sample. Each sample has its own peculiar type of calcium oxalate crystal, which can therefore be used for the basis of identification. The presence of high cells in cinnamon, which is not seen in cascara, can also serve as distinguishing feature. The irregular shaped sclerites also differ in appearance between the two samples, which also form basis of, uh, which form basis of differentiation. Other diagnostic characters of stem back sample include cock cells, starch granules, xylem vessels, parenchyma cells with or without oil cells. Some stem back sample can also have lignin present in the sclerenchyma fiber cells, which can be detected by formation of pink or red coloration of the fiber with addition of fluorocinol and hydrochloric acid. The sclerite can also be colored red upon addition of this reagent for some stem back samples. These are the references and recommended textbook. Thank you for your attention.